So I have some unwanted tenants. They're living up in my attic. It's a raccoon. So what I'm gonna do is put the speaker up here like this. And I'm gonna play some Guns and Roses because maybe Axl Rose's voice will be enough to drive them nuts and get it out of my attic. And I got a trap outside. I'm kind of hoping that I could catch it and relocate it. And make sure it doesn't get hurt along the way. So um, I just gotta find a good place to put the speaker. So I'm gonna try to find a good place to put the speaker and um, play some GNR. I hope that Axl Rose's voice will scare him off. So wish me luck. So there we go. Got the speaker playing. And uh, hopefully I can get rid of, get those raccoons out of my attic. So here's the trap I have down here. Later on today, um, as it gets darker, I'll put a hot dog in there because I think they're coming in through that. I don't know if you're able to see it, but underneath the flashing there where my gutter is, looks like they tore through it and got into my attic through that way. So I believe they climbed up these gutters here so what I'm gonna do is try to catch it. Hopefully it gets hungry and sees the hot dog and goes for the bait. So wish me luck, hopefully I'll catch it. Well, here is the guilty party. I finally caught you, bud. I know you're scared, but you got nothing to be worried about because I am going to find a safer place for you. Yep. So I found him last night. I set up this trap last night. I put this, well, he ate the bone, but I tied down, you can see this string. I tied down a T-bone <laughs> inside the cage. And um, he took the bait. So um, I'm gonna see if I can relocate him to, the, to a better place, a place that's more suitable. I don't think my attic was a very suitable place for you, bud. It was suitable for you, but not for me. So I'm gonna get you relocated, all right? And there he is. <clears throat> Looked a lot bigger in the attic. All right, so we're gonna let go of this guy right here. Okay, watch out, buddy. I'm not gonna hurt you. Send him back <laughs> to a better habitat. No, no. Oh, <laughs> Come here, buddy. <laughs> That's not my attic. <laughs> Don't get bitten. No. Those suckers scary rabies. Go, buddy. Go, 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 go. Go, buddy. Buddy, you got a chance. You don't want to go. He'll go. He'll see. He's yeah, scared. Yep, yep. Make a run for it. No, see, buddy. Go, buddy. The, put the cage down and see if you'll yeah, run he'll out. Go. He'll yep, go. He'll yep, go. Yep, yep. yep. Just put it down. Go, buddy. He's going go, the buddy. wrong direction. Go, buddy. Go, go, go. buddy. Go, buddy. There there you go. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes to his habitat. In total, it took me about three days to trap that raccoon. And what was not shown in the video was that um, even initially when I put the hot dogs down, he would take the hot dogs and he was smart enough not to set off the trap. And that happened for about two days until I finally wisened up and I took a, a bone from a steak. It was an actual T-bone and I tied it to the trap so that it will force the raccoon to actually go into the trap a little deeper and hopefully set off the the trap so that the door was shut behind him and that's exactly what happened it took me three days to finally catch him so um what i learned from this well number one the music did not help um yeah, although i played loud music guns and roses uh, it didn't scare him away he came back <laughs> he he actually liked guns and roses so there you have it. The music did not help. But what did help buy me time was that I sealed off 
the hole at night because raccoons are nocturnal animals. What they do is they go out at night to scavenge, to find food. So I waited till about nine or 10 o'clock at night and went up the attic and I saw that he was gone. And so I, I sealed off that hole and by sealing it off, I knew that he couldn't get back in. So it bought me some time. So what I did was I put the trap outside and, um, and I wasn't worried about not catching him because I know that he couldn't get back inside because that hole was sealed off. So with that said, um, do not panic if you have a squirrel or a raccoon in your attic or in your house because most people panic and they call these pest control companies and they charge them a lot of money. You know, they get away with charging you anywhere from three to five hundred dollars. Usually the average cost is about 500 bucks to seal off the hole and to set the trap. Um, you can buy the trap on Home Depot, Amazon, or, or anywhere, um, Lowe's for 60 bucks, all right? So $60 for that trap. And um, you can seal off the hole relatively cheap. Um, now, if you don't feel comfortable climbing up a ladder, then don't do it. Pay a professional to, to do that because trust me, an ED visit will be much more than 500 bucks. But if you can seal it off from the inside of the attic without having to climb a ladder, that would be even better. So do not panic. And if you can do it yourself, go ahead and do it. Don't spend 500 bucks or more to um, have these, um, these companies come out just to set a trap. You can more or less do the same thing for much less. You know, save that money, give it to the church, give it to the poor, or buy gifts for people, you know. That's what I'd rather be doing versus getting ripped off. So with that said, um, hopefully you learned something from this video and enjoyed it. And um, comment below, like and subscribe. And God bless you all and have a great day.